Okay. Uh, good morning, and thank you for uh, joining us here at the Vancouver Transit Center um, this morning. My name is Kevin Desmond. I'm the CEO of uh, TransLink. And we're here to um, launch another important step in moving towards a bus fleet that is more environmentally friendly. Transit, as, as we all know, is already a green option, removing thousands of cars from our roadways every day. And with that, removing the emissions and the greenhouse gases uh, from those single occupant um, cars. And thanks to approval last November of phase one of the mayor's 10-year vision, TransLink has already begun rolling out the first of several significant boosts in service that will tra make transit an even more appealing option for residents of the Lower Mainland. As part of our 10-year vision, TransLink is also developing a low-carbon fleet strategy. An important step for us in developing this strategy uh, is testing low-emission buses, like the bus you see right behind me, which is why next week we'll be launching this battery-operated bus into service throughout the city of Vancouver as part of a three-month pilot project. Electric buses, of course, are nothing new for us. Next year, TransLink will be celebrating the 70th anniversary of its electric trolley bus fleet. It's one of the largest electric trolley bus fleets in North America. You see right behind us parked um, are many of our trolley buses here. All of them operate out of this base here at Vancouver Transit Center. Today we're looking uh, at the current innovation in electric bus technology, battery electric buses, that will allow us to reap the same environmental benefits as our Vancouver trolley fleet, but will give us more flexibility. Uh, enabling us to operate zero-emission battery buses off-wire. You're not connected to the electric trolley uh, bus wires that we have here in Vancouver. My staff has been monitoring the, the strengths of electric battery buses in other cities throughout North America and the world, uh, for that matter. BYD, the manufacturer of this bus, of course, operates um, internationally. So we see transitioning to a low-carbon bus fleet. That's our vision. It's the vision the mayors and our board have. It's my vision uh, for our fleet. TransLink is committed to innovation in reducing our energy use and greenhouse gas emissions across the enterprise. For example, it's not just our rolling stock. It's not just electric trolley buses or testing electric um, battery buses. It's these facilities as well. Use a lot of energy. Uh, recently, for example, our Richmond um, bus, bus base uh, reduced its electric, uh, electric use by 24% and natural gas use by 33%, reducing greenhouse gas emissions on an annual basis 186 tons. And soon this base, the Vancouver Transit Center, will get similar retrofit uh, with different HVAC systems and, and uh, LED lighting to further reduce our, our energy consumption and GHG emissions. Currently, on our fleet side, we're fast approaching the milestone of having about half of our fleet, 50% of our fleet, using uh, cleaner technologies, a combination of diesel hybrid uh, buses, CNG buses, and, of course, um, our zero-emission electric trolley buses, 262 electric trolley buses. To accelerate our progress in achieving a low-carbon fleet, we need on-the-ground experience with different technologies. Our maintenance folks, many of here who day, are here who t uh, today, will get their chance to sort of kick the tires, get used to this bus, understand how it can work within our operating environment. Our operations folks, similarly, where and how can it work on which routes uh, throughout the system, the dynamics of this particular slow-charge technology. That's what we're going to be testing over the next three months. This pilot project is, is, that we're launching today is one of several bus trials we'll be doing over the next couple of years, uh, testing out zero-emission electric buses. These will allow us to assess how well these buses work for our operations and our mechanics. This particular bus supplied by BYD of Canada at no cost to TransLink will operate in Vancouver on several routes for the next three months. It's got a, a capability to operate on a single charge of about 250 uh, kilometers. It will then be recharged overnight um, here at the base. It's an exciting time uh, to be a transit agency working to reduce its greenhouse gas emissions. We're pleased with the progress we've made so far on this front, but we can do more, and we're actively working to help meet the ambitious goals of this region and province uh, for its own reduction in greenhouse gas emissions and supporting climate change um, activity. So with that, it's my pleasure to introduce Mayor Gregor Robertson, member of TransLink Board and the chair of the Mayor's Council. Mayor Robertson. 
Thank you, Kevin, and uh, good day, everybody. Thanks for being here. Uh, it's an exciting day here at TransLink. The, the future is here with uh, these zero emission, emission buses uh, joining the fleet. Uh, pilot project to get started with, but uh, I know as, as on behalf of the mayors of the region, we're very excited about the possibility of transforming uh, the TransLink bus fleet to be zero emissions and uh, really dramatically reduce our uh, impact on climate and our carbon pollution. So it's a, an exciting opportunity for us going forward. Uh, very proud of the work that TransLink's done for many years uh, to be more sustainable, to green the operations. And Kevin uh, outlined a lot of those major uh, activities uh, throughout the organization. And, and transit by nature is green transportation. We need to get better transit service around the region to ensure people have a great option to get out of their cars and reduce the traffic and pollution that uh, that the cars produce. So we, uh, we also need to be greening the transit fleet and making sure that we're taking advantage of the renewable energy we generate as a province and, uh, and turn that into uh, our mobility. So this is a, a real win-win, uh, getting more transit service around the region with the mayor's 10-year plan uh, rolling out and ensuring that it's green transportation first and foremost. So I um, appreciate the, the commitment of BYD to, uh, to provide this bus and uh, enable a pilot project to get going here. We're looking forward to, uh, to seeing how this works on the ground. Obviously, it's a, a great improvement in our neighborhoods to not have uh, diesel buses roaring through. Uh, the electric buses will uh, be quieter and cleaner, and that's a real bonus for uh, all the residents here. So we're looking forward to the industry side uh, providing a better and better uh, vehicles uh, that are greener, that are quieter and, and more efficient and affordable, ultimately. Uh, I think ho we're hoping to see operating costs reduce as uh, the, the price of electricity is a lot cheaper than the, the fossil fuels required to, uh, to run those buses. So uh, I think it looks like great opportunity is on all fronts. This is a, a next step to test out the equipment and, uh, and make sure that it uh, makes sense on the ground. And uh, hopefully we'll see um, uh, rapid adoption. I know many cities are looking at, tr at trials and, and including battery buses in their fleets. <clears throat> Lots of other mayors I talk to uh, are anxious to see uh, the uptake and, uh, and a transformation of our bus fleets to be cleaner and greener and quieter. So uh, great to have that opportunity now rolling out in Vancouver. So thanks to uh, the partners that have made it possible and thanks to all the staff at TransLink for uh, being on the leading edge and, and continuing to provide great service to everyone here in Vancouver. Thanks. And I'll introduce uh, from BYD, uh, Ted Dowling, to say more about uh, BYD and the bus that's here. Thanks. Thank you. And I, uh, I echo the, um, the hard work that TransLink and Coast Mountain has put in to make this happen. And I thank you, the leadership of uh, the mayor and uh, the, all the mayors in the, in the region. Uh, this bus uh, replace, if you replace these, a diesel bus, it'll replace 1.5 tons a week of uh, GHG. So that's what you're saving by putting electric bus in place. BYD has delivered over 15,000 buses around the world, electric buses, and we are continued to, will grow in Canada and we want to, uh, to this will be a great trial for us to show that these buses will work in Canada. A very simple charging uh, solution. It plugs in, charges overnight when power is uh, needed to the, on the grid and they want to get rid of it. Um, and it's a, uh, the main thing is you have to think about this as a trolley that's basically unleashed. It can go anywhere. So this is going to be a great trial for BYD, show that our buses can work in any route structure in uh, Vancouver. And thank you very much. Okay. I can speak on the on the diesel side of it. So a, a diesel bus, we're about um, 25 to 30 percent more than a diesel bus, uh, cost wise. And then as far as your maintenance costs, uh, for if you include the the diesel price uh, usage of fuel, we're about 80 percent less on that side. So all of uh, operations that have been using electric buses uh, for over three or four years have seen a decrease in their operations costs by about 80 percent. Uh, so this bus is just a little under a million dollars. So the part, part of the reason that we're moving um, cautiously 
into battery buses. There's, there's two kinds of charging technologies. What we're testing here is the slow charge, where it operates for up to 250 kilometers on a charge, then comes back at the base, you plug it in, which then requires, if you, if you expand it, if you scale, requires a change to how your, your base is actually set up, because you have to set up a, a different fueling kind of approach. Um, the fleet, the, the buses themselves are, are currently more expensive, and I, I'm hopeful that, that as North America begins to embrace battery buses, that the price will come down as we can scale up, get economy um, of scale. Um, we have to, one of the reasons we're, we're doing this demonstration is to learn from our own perspective, from our great maintenance folks um, here at this base and at Coast Mountain Bus Company, is get some of the sense of the dynamics of the maintenance issues. We do believe that electric buses will have a lower life cycle cost, um, and that can offset the upfront cost of not only the bus, but the charging facilities um, as well. So that's what we're going to learn with this trial and then subsequent trials with different technologies. Oh, yes. Yeah, they're um, in uh, Canada and, pri and the United States. I know BYD's got, and Ted can speak to this, but BYD has um, uh, f uh, smaller fleets of, of buses in the United States. There are other technologies that other uh, transit agencies in the U.S. are using on using fast charge technology, for example. Yeah, so we, we, did, a, we did a test in Edmonton uh, where we had our vehicle fully, fully laden with uh, passengers uh, with the heaters on, uh, and we were basically running about 260 kilometers.